Hi, Charge Heads. Um, I think I might have said in a previous episode for the TBR Wedgie that um, I need to get some seats that are heated. Now, um, the heated, well, the seats currently on the TBR aren't heated, and one of them, the running the runners, were a bit knackered. So I thought, do you know what? It'd probably be better value to go and get some different seats. And the obvious ones that come up to mind, because I know I've seen them in a few TVRs before, is uh, uh, Mazda MX-5 seats. So I was uh, having a look to see what I could find out there on eBay and Facebook and stuff like that. And um, I found some beautiful brown uh, leather seats or, or uh, dark tan, uh, whatever you prefer, or Nougat brown, which is the Audi brown color, which I uh, always liked when I saw a random Audi with that color and everyone else would, you know, run a mile. Um, but I found some, I found some on Facebook, got them up for about 150 quid, they look in good condition, bolsters look all good, and they're heated, of course. And I said, look, I'll come get them right now, 100 quid cash, so I'm off to Sleaford. Hopefully they'll be all good. I'll bring them back to Ralph, we'll fit them, they'll work. It will be, you know, working. When does it ever work like that? Not very often, so hopefully it'll be all good. Take it to Ralph and uh, see where we go. Anyway, I'm off, so I will speak to you later. So here are the seats. So I checked them out when I was in Sleaford. The guy was really nice chap and uh, um, yeah, I mean, exactly what they said that they were in terms of the condition and I saw pictures already. So yes, I mean, there's a little bit of discoloration there that um, I was thinking uh, with a bit of uh, TLC, these sort of little bits can be sorted out. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the bolsters, if anyone knows about MX-5 seats, they go here a lot. And I've seen cars with holes in the bolsters and all sorts, because I've had a couple of Mark I MX-5s uh, a little while ago, but these are the, they call them the tombstone seats. We'll see, shape of the tombstone. But yes, they are both heated and I believe they work. Uh, I might have told Ralph that they definitely work, but I believe they work. It's Japanese. Be fine, it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, so, um, so yeah, those are those. Now, Ralph actually called me to say that there may be an issue and that is why I'm here today. And let me show you. So here they are in comparison. Obviously we've got the dark town or brown or nougat brown, Audi interior color, which I've always had a thing for. Um, and then we've got this beige, uh, which I mean, they both need a clean up. I mean, this one, the TVR more so than the gray, uh, brown one. But just to reiterate, the reason I got the brown seat for the MX-5 is because they were heated. And to do a heater element on these, it's obviously going to cost more money. You know, it's obviously important to keep some of the uh, original aspects of the TVR, but these are actually very supportive seats as well. But there's one uh, issue uh, or potential challenge, and this is why I'm here today, to put both seats in to see which ones fit. Um, but the uh, that versus that, if you look now, you might be able to tell that one sits a bit higher. So my thighs are gonna be that much higher compared to the original ones. I don't think there's a massive difference and we should be all right. It's not like I've got the thighs of some sort of, you know, muscle bodybuilder or someone. What's the matter? The CIA got you pushing too many pencils? You know, I'm not massive, but I'm just kind of average, I suppose. But, um, but yeah, I'm here today just to make sure that that does work before we start going through the fitting. But um, let me show you one in the car, because I think it goes really well with the current interior. Because as you can see, we've got the beige and the brown, and we've got the brown, I mean, the carpet's definitely need replacing, like I mentioned, I'm sure before. Um, but let me get one in so I can show you, but I think they really do work. Um, but let's grab one in now. I've just realized he's taking the flipping steering wheel out. <laughs> He's taking all the clocks out as well. Look, what's he doing to my car? Um, yeah, I didn't realize there's even this many dials. I'll ask him when he comes back. Cause he's, he's on a jaunt. He's gone, gone to find some, uh, some uh, electric things. Um, but yeah, so yeah, nice, interesting bits of wire there. So yeah, I'm, 
not sure. I want to make sure this is stable, but look at that. I mean, it, look at that. It goes with the brown so well. Brown, brown. I mean, very similar. Hmm. Hmm. Slightly off brown. Will I get away with that? I don't want to get away with it. I want it to look the part, you know, so maybe I need another light. Let me get a light. Okay, one's kind of a reddy brown and that one's like more of a Cadbury's chocolate brown. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Will I get away with this? Shall I stick with the original seats? I mean, you know the plan why I got these in the first place because it would save money rather than retrofitting heated seats to the TVR ones, but you can do that. But again, cost is important and I wanted something maybe a bit more supportive. Am I doing the right thing? I don't know. I just, you know, just a bit of, I don't know, maybe I just like buying stuff and seeing if it fits sometimes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're going to see how it works out, um, get the steering wheel back on and uh, go from there. So yeah. Hmm. Right, so I have had both the seats in the TVR and although the bottom of the seat is a little bit higher on the MX-5 um, and we've had the roof on as well hence why the roof's back out again just to check the uh, head head height you know when I do the Starsky and Hutch style over the bridge um, I'm not going to hit my head on the roof if, if it's up um, but yeah I mean there, there, there was enough clearance still I mean the big benefits of this is the fact that um, the the rails on the bottom of this, I mean, it is 1985. I mean, they are pretty mullered and rusty. Uh, plus, they would need the heated seat element fitted, uh, whereas these have already got the heated seat element fitted, um, and they're in much better shape. And they are a little bit thinner at the back than the TVR ones, so a bit more um, space uh, for moving forwards and backwards. So there's that benefit there. Um, the only negative that I can see, other than a little bit of less uh, leg room and from, you know, uh, steering wheel to the top of the thigh, is that the, the bottom of the door card is slightly kind of reddy brown compared to the chocolate brown of, or dark tan of those seats. But uh, after conversing with um, Ralph, I think I'm going to go with the MX-5 seats. So from a money point of view and comfort and heating and all the things that I've already mentioned it seems to be the best option and worst case scenario I could always put the old ones back in hopefully that won't be the case because that would be a pain in the ass um, so yeah uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode again it's just about seats but it's just another element of uh, the car and uh, you know just the progress that we're having so I'll see you next time thank you